Hey everybody, this is John, and I'm going to do a, a box opening of a brand new gimbal I just bought this week. Uh, we have a couple big trips coming up, and I wanted to make sure that I had something good where I could record some good, nice, smooth video. So I picked up this um, Shiyuan, I think that's how you pronounce it, Smooth Q 3-axis stabilizer, uh, also known as a gimbal, uh, at Best Buy for 100 bucks. And I'm going to open it up and see how much you like it. I was not going to pay 300 bucks that others were selling for. So I saw this one, bought it online for $100 through Best Buy, and I'm going to check out, check it out, see how much you like it. So it is brand new, just came in the mail. Haven't even opened it yet. So let's take off the outer wrapping and. And see what's inside. Uh, let's see. I guess that outer sleeve just slides right off. Uh, opens up from the front. Look at that. Package a nice plastic outer dust cover sleeve. <laughs> this is kind of cool, kind of interesting looking. Comes comes in a nice uh, guitar case, looks like. Uh, I know it depends on what city you're in. Some people may think you're part of the mafia if you're carrying around one of these. <laughs> uh, it is kind of cute though. Here's also instruction manual. Let's see here. Looks like 25 pages of how to use it and we'll get back to that later if we need it uh, also looks like it has a must be a strap and a uh, charging cable here and all right so now let's see what's inside our little uh, uh, guitar case Give you a nice kind of close up of that. That looks pretty sharp. I like how it's the case is molded to, to fit the the gimbal. Hopefully you can get a good look at that. Wow, kind of cool. Now I guess there's a way to uh, turn it on. It's probably not charged, so I might have to charge it for a little while. Pause the video and come back and show you how to set it up. And now after reading the owner's manual for a few minutes, I've come across a few interesting things that we probably need to uh, understand before we get started here. Uh, I found this interesting for battery charging. It says only use the Zayun approved adapter for charging. However, they don't provide you with a Zayun approved adapter. They just give you the cable that I pulled out earlier. And it also talks about here having to up, upgrade the firmware. So we're going to go plug it into the computer and make sure that the firmware is upgraded. And we also need to you know, uh, download an app onto my phone. So I'm going to do that as well. And, we, and I'll tell you more details about that. All right, so now let's see, you're going to plug this baby in. Maybe it is that one. It looks like the right size. Maybe it just goes in. Yeah, okay. I guess it's that one there. It snapped in a little harder than I thought. Oops, maybe I got it out of the frame. Oh, sorry about the backlighting there. Apologize for that. Now, plug it into the computer. And, oh, look at that. We get a flashing yellow light on there. And... Instructions say to go to uh, ziyun techcom It's kind of funny. You go there and it's in Chinese. All right. But apparently you can go over here to English. So we're going to go to the English site. Okay, this is something I'm finding very annoying right off the bat. I'm trying to go to the tutorial. 
on the Zoo and Tech web page. I click on it, and this pulls up. Looks like I should play a tutorial video here. Click on the little thing down here, and it's going keeps going back to this advertisement. All right, I'm going to go through the calibration sequence right here real quick. That was something that confused me a little bit. In the app, you'll get this in a little page that says Start Calibration. And it gives you a diagram here. And I was trying to set it up. You're supposed to lay it the way it, uh, the picture appears. And I was trying it. So right now, or I'll... I'll show you. It's kind of not showing up very well. So right now, this says place the gimbal statically as shown below. And, okay. So, that was... So do that. You have to do that. But in this case, the first one especially, you have to hold it in place. Because it has a tendency to want to roll over. There it goes. And the picture changes and then you go on to the next position that it that it tells you. In this case it's like this. And I think all the other ones you can just let them sit there and rest. But that first one especially, and I don't know why this isn't working. Oh, it's not working because that's not right. Because uh, I had to flip it over like this. There it goes. Now it wants to be like that. And then it wants to be like this. Now it wants to be like that. And one last one. And then and then this last screen will say, hey, congratulations, you've regained the balance. And that, my friends, is how you calibrate your, your gimbal. Okay, so now we're outside, going to enjoy some of our Chicago weather here and see how well it does. Uh, right now we have it on follow mode, so if you turn it left and right, I have my lovely assistant, Annalisa. And so twist the handle so you can, so it will fall oh, over here. <laughs> so it will follow me if you turn the handle left and right. And we're going to try out and see how well it does when it's, when we're in motion. So let, let's go for a little jog. And so hopefully it'll be relatively stable. It is. When we're doing this. I'll try not to trip. I don't want, want to be the laughing stock when I go over backwards. And uh, so, hopefully, is it looking pretty stable there? Yeah. Okay, good. Very nice. So, this is a little outdoor test. And I'm gonna. So, follow me around. Just, just stay right there and twist the handle. And oh, let's yeah. make it follow. This is a follow mode. Oh, wow. Okay, twist the handle back the other way. And it will follow me over here. Oh, that was cool. All right, now push the button on it so it's in lock mode. Which one? The red one? The or middle one. The middle one. The small one in the middle. Oh. oh it's, not oh. that many times. <laughs> <laughs> well, you must have pressed it like two you times. Said, oh, okay. Only once. That's why it, goes, it flips sideways when you... Oh. Flip it. If you hold it down. There you go. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I guess it goes at a 45 degree angle when you hold the button down. Oh, okay. So, 
push the middle button and put it into lock mode. It is locked okay, lock mode. Uh -huh. So now, now she can walk and move move the handle back and forth, and it will stay pointed in the same oh, direction. Oh yeah, same direction. Yeah. No matter how much she turns I know. the handle. Oh wow. It will stay pointed in that direction. Yep, it is. It's perfect. Perfect. Uh huh. All right, so that's a little experiment with our uh, uh, whatever this gimbal's name is called, <laughs> Q Zoom or something. Okay. Uh, ninety nine dollars. I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be worth it. Yep. Uh, for cheap, I'm certainly not going to pay two hundred bucks for something that like this, and the other ones out there are at least two hundred dollars or more. Okay. So there's a little problem with the uh, with the app. A little problem with the software. Just skip the software going online that was a waste of time uh, the app is a little glitchy because it always wants you to uh, download another app on there and 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 the other app is is not recognized and that doesn't have a security so I want to show the the view it's beautiful and so the <laughs> You're throwing me off there, honey. You're trying, telling me to, trying to direct me from behind the camera. Okay. And okay, so I think for, for hundred bucks, I can't wait to take it on vacation. We have a couple vacations, a couple more travel videos coming up soon, and we're going to use our gimbal to get some nice, stable footage. So thanks, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Right now, I have it set on. I forget which mode that is. I have a point in this direction, so if I turn around, it's going to stay pointed in that direction as I circle around that camera. So that is the lock mode. So as I as I turn the handle back and forth, it stays pointed in the same direction. Press the button again, it's in follow mode, so when I turn the handle, it will turn with me. So that is follow mode. If I double tap the button, it goes into full mode, which means if I look down, it'll look down. If I look up, it'll look up too. So it'll go the direction that the handle is pointed if I put it onto the, the full mode. I think we covered it. So that's it, thank you. And my and my beautiful bride wanted some selfies here, so we're taking this selfies. This is nice, yeah. This is really nice. And okay, it's in follow mode. So as I turn yeah, the handle, know, it's going to turn with us. And it's stable, like you're not shaky. And, and, mm -hmm. and I got to squat down so I can get at her level. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. How about selfie? Can you just do selfie on that? Can you take a picture when you... Well, I can. I have to turn it back to yeah, just turn camera it. mode yeah, to just take selfies. Yeah, just put in camera mode. Just try. Alrighty.